Hey campers, Georgia, back in the man cave. Woo! Shock and horror, right? While I'm sitting here, I thought I'd have a look at something I got the other day. Yep, another sharp and shiny, and another folder from Rough Riders. If you remember last time, I gave you a little bit of background on the name and, and that sort of stuff, little historic thing. This one, though, got my attention. Why? Because it's a little unusual. I've heard about these and never really seen them and came across one. So you know me, sharp and shiny, it's unusual, and it's something I'd seen before and wanted to know more about. Here it is, the Rough Riders Outdoorman series. And what it is, is a little folding knife that has something unusual on it. So let's check it out. So here it is here in the Rough Rider, their, their typical box, and it says Rough Rider Outdoorsman Series. The model number on this one is RR1326. So if you're interested, that's the model number you're looking for. And here it is here in the box in a little plastic bag. I'll take that out and then you can have a look see. There it is right there. A nice little knife. It is small. I will tell you that now we'll get into the actual dimensions and everything on it. And it looks very nice. It's a pretty looking knife. The thing that got my attention is that thing there. Can you see it? Right there, right on the edge. What it is, is they call it a swing guard. And what they're talking about is this. Watch this. Can you see that? As I open it, there's the guard right there. See that? Very cool. And the idea is that's what protects you from your hand sliding onto the blade. I like that idea. It does have a lock back on it. You can see it there. It's right there on the handle. So to release it, you just press that down. So I'll do that quickly. And excuse my fingers. I scraped them a bit when I was doing something. And you would release it there. It is a lock back. And as it clips back, so that swing guard goes back into position. And there it's back where it should be and into your pocket. No clip on it or anything like that. Really, it's not too heavy and it's pretty small. If you're like me, I can barely handle car keys in my pocket. For some reason, it irritates me. So I don't want anything big and heavy in my pockets. And this is, this is pretty nice. It has everything on it. It is a really nice knife. And the size and everything, we'll go through it now. Let's have a closer look at the dimensions and a little bit more about it. So I'll open it up here for you and we'll give you some, di some dimensions here. There you can see it there. You can see the, the deep clip back. By the way, when I was talking about these things, when I was going through knife information, this clip back here, this uh, clip on the blade, this is doesn't really curve in. It's almost comes straight down. It's a little unusual. But sometimes these long clips are referred to as a California clip. And if you look on the other side here on the handle, it has a little acorn in there. Very cool. The bone handle on it is called an amber jigged bone handle. And there you can see it right there. And let me get that nice. And it is a nice looking handle. An unusual color with that acorn in, insert in it, which is pretty cool. And it's a nice handle, and like I said, it's pretty smooth, no sharp edges to it or anything like that. So that's very nice, and as you can see, it does have bolsters on it. It has a bolster right here and one in the front, which just gives the handle more support uh, for the swing and everything on it, where the, uh, um, the blade goes in here, and you have the pivot point. This bolster here is protecting it, and this just helps at the back in the design, and if you have a look there, it is part of the, the whole liner in here. It's all one piece. I don't know if you can see that. And it has a lock back on it here. So when you close it to release it, you're going to have to press that down to release it. This swing guard moves on and on. You don't have to do anything to it. Basically, if you watch right now, I'm going to... And this is a new knife and it's nice and tight. But as you can see, as I swing back, it just goes into position. Just like when you open it, it slips right into position. The nice thing about it is that this moves that way. In other words, the bottom swings up um, 
that way like that. So when you put your hand on it and your thumb is at the top holding that guard, it's not going to slip on you. It's going to stay in position. And of course, the design of the swing guard protects both, both the bottom and the top. So that's pretty cool. I like that idea. And that's what got my attention. I looked up, there was a bunch of them out there. This one, um, I do like Rough Rider. I, you know, I've looked at a couple of the products and I, I done a couple of videos I'll put a link up there I was impressed very nice and you know what they priced right what's the blade all about well if you look at the blade here first of all on the blade there it does have a nail latch on it so you can pull the blade out always a good thing not all uh, folders have that the spring assisted opening they don't really need it but it does help it does make life a lot easier and if you look at this you can see the shape of the blade comes down to a nice sharp point there. This comes up to meet it. And if you saw my last video on knife styles and blade types, this is a, a, a clip point. Kind of unusual. You see how long that clip point is. And it doesn't really dip in and come out. It's almost a straight down on this one. Which makes me think more of a buoy, bowie, whatever you want to call it, knife shape. By the way, it's also... It's often referred to as a California clip. So there you go. Some more useless information for you. The guard just pivots on a pin right there. You can see it there. And it just pivots there. And like I said, you've got your bolsters here and a nice little icon with the acorn uh, insert on the blade, which is a nice little touch. You can see the pins holding your handle together. Very nice. The blade is stainless steel. In fact, it's all stainless steel. I'm looking at the only thing that is not stainless steel on this, obviously, is the handle. And if you look carefully in there, you can see on the liner here, there is some brass strips just underneath uh, between the, the handle and the actual liner. You can see the brass strips there. Hopefully you can see that. This is 440A stainless steel dimensions on this. The blade, two and a half inches long, and they do call it a clip point. The thickness of the blade, you can see it there, one sixteenth. And uh, the grind on it looks like a flat grind with your secondary grind along here. Almost, it's not a scanny, scandy grind, it's a, I, I would have to say a flat grind. Just a straight flat grind with your secondary grind on it there. And you can see it there. When you close it up, total length of this closed, three and a half inches. Now, you know me, I, I my hands, all palm, little fingers. And you can see there, it kind of helps because when I push on that guard, I get a good grip on this. And I kind of like that. Gives me a good solid grip, gives you a little bit more control. I'm impressed with this guard style and I can see why they had it. I thought it was just a pretty thing. <laughs> Obviously it has its uses. How sharp is it? Good question. Let's cut something up. We'll start with a piece of paper. Now, the last one was sharp. The, this one doesn't, it cuts the paper, but it's not a, you can see there it's it's sharp enough to me it could do with a little bit of touch up on it but that's all stainless means it's going to uh, hold its edge a lot better so touching it up right in the beginning you're probably going to have to not do that too often of course with stainless doesn't require so much maintenance like although you should be maintaining your knives anyway clean them up before you put them away don't want to leave you know, dirt and everything in them, especially if it starts getting into where the the pivot points is going to start wearing stuff away in that. You don't want to do that. So there you have it. Very nice little knife. Well, what would I do with it? I think it's a good solid pocket knife. It would be for a, an, an everyday carry type knife, just your general chores, opening envelopes, cutting paper, cutting tape, you know, the normal sort of things. Me, I like to whittle, as you know, so I have me a little stick here. 
I want to see if it'll cut into that without doing any sharpening on it. And, you know, this it clears the bark. You can see it there. I mean, no problem. I can feel it grinding a little bit, so it doesn't need to be touched up on the blade. I'm just going to get this bark off quickly. As far as whittling with it, I want to see how it feels in my hand. Like I said, I like that guard idea. It's going to stop me from my hand sliding onto the blade or anything like that. doesn't have any jimping on it or anything. doesn't need it because you've got the guard. What do I want to do? I uh, Let's peel some wood off here. You know, I can probably... This will do a good job on feathering, I would think. It's uh, fairly small. You're not going to get a really long feather out of it, but it, it will... You can see there... It does, does that okay, so no problem there. And let's see if we can, let's see if we can do a little notch in it. I'm going to do a mini notch here. And uh, it cuts the wood just fine. You can see here, it's cutting into the wood. Let me get closer there for you. And it allows me to go in and I'm just going to clean up that edge. I don't want to break the wood. It's a little small. It has a nice sharp point to it, so on something that you can see there, it uh, cut that pretty well. Uh, no problem there. And I'm pretty sure I can make some, see what I mean about not supporting it. <laughs> After bragging about how smart I am about supporting it, I cut right through it. So, you know, you can put a bit of pressure on it here. And that's because I was pushing on there a lot of pressure on my thumb. I'd have to get used to that. I thought it was going to be too small for me, you know, for my hand. The back of the blade here is not a sharp 90, and I don't think it's really designed for the use of that. Smooth that out a little bit, make it nice and round. Let's see if I can do something without cutting the wood. Hold there. And I want to see how delicate this is. See if I can do some delicate stuff with this. It's a small piece of wood, so it would have to be delicate. And I'm just going to see if I can make a round cut in there without breaking the wood. <laughs> it's doing just fine. It's doing it no problem. See no problem there. So I'd, I would be able to whittle with this. Would be nice to have in my pocket when I'm trudging around. Find a little stick when I'm having a cup of coffee and just whittle away. So it'll do it. Nice little knife. I think I like this. The size, I thought it was, I, I honestly thought it was going to be, when I opened the box and I was like, wow, that's small. It's not bad. You know, I have a wide palm and you can see the blade doesn't make it all the way through my palm. But because of that thumb, it sits in my hand pretty solid. And then closing it, got a good solid lock on it there. But over time, that's going to get a little bit softer. And you can see that the uh, guard is folded right in there. How much did I pay for it? That much. Not bad. That's what I like about Rough Rider. In fact, you may have noticed by now that most of the knives I'm looking at are not overly priced. The Rough Rider locked back with a swing guard. Pretty cool. Not bad at all. It's a very nice finish. It's Good looking knife. It does look very nice. Happy with this. I think I like it. Good job, Rough Rider. Anywho, don't forget. Like, share, subscribe. <laughs> you know the story. Pretty sure I'll be back with something else. Just not sure what. Whether it'll be a knife, an axe, hatchet. What about a saw? I need to look at saws. Bushcraft saws, outdoor saw, camping saw. It's got to be some good ones up there that are going to catch my eye. If they're sharp and shiny, you know that's going to happen. Just saying. Thanks for watching. And you all be safe out there. Take care now. Bye.